also. Aloha. 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 Oh, that looks like a safari hat. You want a safari? Oh, uh, it can. I can see. Okay, that is our family lagoon pool as well. Cool. Right in front, we also have a soccer field, volleyball net, and a oh my God. green. So um, everything will be out on the field if you need it. And then here in the lobby, we got the spa right here. The 24 hour fitness center is right around that corner. And then also a 24 hour marketplace for graphical cool items and souvenirs. Wait, can you, <laughs> what is here? A putting green? So, yeah. so putting green is going to be right here at the bottom. And what else? Um, volleyball nets right in the middle and then a soccer field up at the Love top. it. So Amazing. Stuff. And then How we do cool. have that scavenger hunt going around. So definitely you're going to hit all oh, those places. there's a scavenger hunt? Yes. Yeah, so is it in your bag? bag? Yeah. So I love it so do. much. Yeah. Any love questions it. though? <laughs> This is crazy, but it's not like floor three, it is, oh, here's the elevator to your room, number 305. Okay, so we just got off the White Lua River and we're looking a little disheveled right now. Yeah, for sure. It was like a five, six hour tour to hike to a waterfall, but we we're just checking out two, one of the most under the radar hotel resorts. But on nicest. My... Oh, so nice. nice. We're just gonna jump right to the room tour. Welcome to the Koloa Landing. All right, so we're starting out with a quick room tour because, oh my goodness, I could cry happy tears being here. We are staying in one of their villas. This is, we have a two bedroom villa. They have villas that range from one to three bedrooms. These places are like as big as our house. This is crazy. So this is a full kitchen with wolf and sub-zero appliances like Wow, let me just move in. <laughs> they also have studios and these studios are also large and they also come with uh, like kitchenettes and every single place here comes with laundry, which wow, that is so helpful. So spend 24 hours with us as we enjoy the resort, but also show you around Poipu and the South Shore area. Today, first up, breakfast. Daddy, daddy. Oh, <laughs> got me a camera. I'm asking Henry if he wants to jump off the cliffs with me on this hiking trail this no. morning. Yeah, mommy says yes. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The microphone doesn't work well. getting breakfast from the marketplace here at Kaloa Landing Resort, and then we are heading off. Is that good? <laughs> yeah. We're at Shipwrecks Beach right now. This is right in front of the Grand Hyatt. It's about a mile and a half from Koloa Landing. Quick drive down here. Shipwrecks Beach is a lot of fun, especially for sunset. It's nice. It does have a tough shore break. It's known for bodyboarding and surfing and cliff jumping. Not saying we recommend those things, but it's a really pretty beach. And our favorite part is, is the start of a heritage trail. Great hiking. It's about 350 feet elevation, 3.7 miles out and back goes to a point and there's also caves at the end and a beach. We're not gonna go that far because we got the kids with us. We'll see how far we make it. But the views are spectacular. Very underrated hike on Kauai. There is parking, now a whole lot of spaces here in the public parking lot, a little more up on the hill on the side of the road. Let's go guys. You don't have to hike very far to get a good view, which is great because you, if you have young kids like us, you're probably not doing the whole trail. thing about this trail is one of my favorite YouTube channels, Hawaii YouTube channels, is Mysteries of Hawaii. And he tells a great story about this trail, about fishermen camping on it at night. And it's supposedly Hawaiian tradition, you don't camp on trails because the night walkers use the trails. Those are old Hawaiian ghosts who walk the trails. He woke up 
full of bites, human bites. So check out his channel for some great stories about why. It's a great start to your day for a hike. It is a popular hike, so you will find other people on the trail. But now we're heading to a market at a botanical garden. Come along. We are at Allerton and McBride Botanical Gardens. There's two of them back to back. Both of these are part of like private estates that plant a lot of indigenous plants here. McBride is mostly, or I think it's all Hawaiian plants. And then Allerton, which is like a curated mix of just plants from all over the world. Like right here is a rainbow eucalyptus tree. We're here on a Thursday, which is their market day, their Aloha markets from 10 to two. Fun way to come to a free hula show. Now, they do guided tours of Allerton Botanical Garden. It is two and a half hours long. And they also do a sunset tour of it. And if you want an alternative to a loop, Wow, they have like a walking tour of the botanical garden while they're having like hula and other like Hawaiian arts and crafts or Hawaiian activities. Why they have hula performances, even a fire knife show going on too. And the McBride Botanical Garden is more of like a research facility where they're studying the plants, animals, and how to preserve them. Very cool, right? Two tips. First, it's fun to shop local, so it's fun to find these markets. Farmers markets are located all over the island. Just check websites, different times. Number two, Spouting Horn is right across the street. It's a great blowhole, the kids love it. It's a cool little park, go check it out. Okay, it's 11 o'clock right now. We're gonna head back to Kaloa Landing Resort because Henry wants to hit the pool and the water slides. Pool time, ready for pool time? Ready for pool time. This pool has been ranked the best pool in America twice by USA Today because it has a swim-through grotto with waterfalls. It's got infinity pool. It's got like two levels, I think, two water slides, and it's so much fun. There's an adult pool. There's three jacuzzis. You got cabanas. You got barbecues around here, and Holo Holo Grill is right next to it. Great place for lunch and dinner with live music. It's a nice chilled-out vibe here. That's what we like about it. this hotel click the link in the description below you have a lot of fun while we are enjoying some time at the pool today let me tell you a few more things about South Kauai about this Poipu area a few more things to do in the area and why we like staying here if playing on the pool is not on your agenda and you want to go see more of what is in the area there's plenty to do here all right you can go snorkeling so here you have some great snorkeling options you have Poipu Beach you have Levi you can also just have a beach day Poipu Beach and Kiahuna Beach are excellent spots to spend your day and if the beach isn't calling your name there's another reason we love staying down in this South Shore area, Poipu area. There are so many other things to do that are so close by. So you're about 25 minutes away from Port Allen, which is where we left from to take a snorkeling trip up the Nepali coast. You're also another 25, 30 minutes from Wailua River. And that is where we did some kayaking. We also hopped on the Fern Grottoes. It was really, really, really fun. You're also nearby the Backcountry Adventures. We did some tubing down in the irrigation canal. Wow, we have been busy. And you are also just a very short drive away from historic Kaloa Town. Head there for some food trucks, some shopping, and walk around that charming town. <laughs> All right, Edie's up from her nap, and we are gonna go join the guys in the pool.
you're gonna beat me? Yes. Watch the net. Oh no, mommy, you got stuck. Ah! We love food trucks in historic Kaloa town. Has some amazing food trucks. Highly recommend going there. But tonight, we're going fancy. We're at the beach house. It's on a wonderful beach, and it's at sunset. It's got nice views. It's fine dining on Kauai's best. Look at that view. Do you see that view? I got the lobster pasta. It's a pumpkin ravioli. Ooh, whoa. Here we got the vegetables with noodles. I see it, I see it, Edie. I see it. So Erica doesn't believe in the green flash, so she asks our waiter, and he's seen four of them, two of them here. And based on what I read on the internet, the internet never lies, green flash is real. I believe our waiter. <laughs> Not the internet? <laughs> 